I love you. I love you. Please, don't leave. If you were able to get through that scene without choking up a little, you are doing a lot better than the rest of us. Hi, I'm Clive. We all know and love Lucifer for its devilishly humorous one-liners and witty charm, but every once in a while, the Netflix hit will have us in a pool of tears with its more heartbreaking scenes, which makes one thing very clear to all of us, that just because he is the devil doesn't mean he doesn't know how to tug at our heartstrings. So, when it comes to getting through this video, we suggest taking Charlotte's advice. Son, it's okay. Slide it out. Let it all out. out. Who can forget the absolute tearjerker moment when Lucifer had to let go of his mother? Even though Lucifer's mother, otherwise known as the goddess, had admittedly caused quite a few deaths and proved to be rather troublesome on Earth. These scenes had us all feeling incredibly emotional. This proved to be one of the show's saddest moments when Lucifer realizes what he has to do. Even though his mom intended to use Azrael's sword to seek revenge, Lucifer knows that this will only work against humanity. And so, he decided to let go of his mother, even if it meant never seeing her again. This emotional scene had fans in a puddle of tears because Lucifer shows his mother the same level of mercy that God had shown him when he was banished from heaven. And we couldn't forget this moment at the end of the scene where she calls him her angel. But what about back in season one, when Lucifer creates a rather unlikely friendship with Father Frank? Scenes of the two playing the piano and sharing in hilarious commentary had all of us obsessed with their close bond. And just when we began rooting for the unlikely friends, all of the heartwarming moments between the two abruptly came to an end, when Father Frank fought for his life in Lucifer's arms. Pressure on the wound. I am! Come on, Frank, stay with me, stay with me. <sighs> to make matters even more emotional, Father Frank's last words to Lucifer struck a chord with all of us and proved to be a poignant reminder to Lucifer that even with his past, he accepts him for who he is. He is also forever grateful that God had put him on Lucifer's path. At first, I didn't understand why God put you in my path. But then it hit me. Maybe he put me in yours. In the aftermath, Lucer could be seen yelling at his father out of sheer anger. And if we're being honest, so were we. I guess we were all hurt that while Father Frank followed through with God's plan and his rules, he still received an untimely and, quite frankly, undeserved death. So when Lucifer yells, what's the bloody point? We definitely felt that. And well, it seems that death follows Lucifer wherever he goes, especially when it comes to those closest to him. This time around, it was his brother, Uriel. Remember when Lucifer was shocked to see his younger brother, Uriel, appear on Earth? Well, we were just as shocked when Lucifer was forced to later kill him. He was my brother. And while this moment pulled at our heartstrings, we knew that he had to do it for the greater good. Throughout Lucifer's entire journey, he often found himself entangled with Detective Chloe Decker, so when he finally admits to being completely in love with her, fans across the globe were swooning. And just when we thought we could all begin celebrating their love, his mother decides to reveal the truth about Chloe's purpose. This is your father's doing. Chloe is his doing. He put her in your path. Yes, Chloe was actually put on Lucifer's path by God. Following this painful revelation, Lucifer has a series of flashbacks to all of the moments that he shared with Chloe. Lucifer later begins to mourn all of these moments that he shared with her as he feels betrayed that nothing with her was actually real. And you could honestly hear hearts shattering everywhere. But if you're up there, Dad, <laughs> I need a favor. Firstly, who remembers that scene? And secondly, were you as desperate as us to grant Lucifer his one wish? The season one finale definitely had us at the edge of our seats as Lucifer had just been shot. And because Chloe was in the vicinity, he wasn't able to heal, which already proved to be a rather melancholy moment. But then he goes on to call out his father in a desperate plea, saying, quote, I need a favor. I'll be the son you always wanted me to be. I'll do as you ask. Go where you want me to. In exchange, all I ask is, is that you protect Chloe. Cue the waterworks! 
The thing is that even despite his frustrations toward his father and his abandonment issues, he continuously asks God to save and protect Chloe when he is gone. Lucifer is willing to give it all up for her. In fact, he even promises to be the son his father always wanted him to be. This truly is one of the show's saddest moments, as Lucifer is in one of his most vulnerable states yet. And here's the real kicker. Lucifer is dying, and even then, he is more concerned about Chloe than himself. We also couldn't forget about this emotional scene. Ah, Lucifer finally reveals his truest form. And as a fan of the show, you know just how much it takes for the devil to show this side of himself. Ever since he was banished, Lucifer has come to absolutely detest what he truly looks like, especially given the fact that it proves to be a harsh reminder of the fact that he was forced to live. And while his true form may not be the most appealing, it's important that he fully shares who he is. We just wish that Linda felt the same way. Doctor. After finding the courage to reveal his true face to Linda, she openly rejects him. This gut-wrenching moment is incredibly sad as Lucifer is willing to be completely vulnerable with Linda. Yes, even behind all of the humor, bravado, and incessant jokes, he is ashamed, hurt, and defenseless around her. But the emotions run high when Linda is mortified by Lucifer's true face. She then goes into a moment of complete shock. Lucifer quickly realizes that this was a mistake and leaves, feeling that no one will ever accept him for who he really is. I want her to choose me. Very few sentences are as emotionally jarring as this one. When Lucifer finally admits to being on the edge of absolute heartbreak, as he realizes that he cannot show Chloe his wings, he truly understands just how much he wants her. I want her to choose me. And in true Linda fashion, she steps in to remind Lucifer that he has the power and free will to choose exactly what he wants. And what he wants is clearly Chloe even if it makes him vulnerable. Be vulnerable when I'm close to you. In this specific moment, he truly accepts that he's completely and truly in love with her. The cute moment eventually shatters when he later sees Pierce propose to Chloe, proving how once again, Lucifer is failing at having the love he so badly craves. But as a true fan of the show, you'll definitely remember this incredibly emotional scene at the very beginning of season four, when Lucifer suffers one of the greatest heartbreaks worse than the pain he experienced following his banishment. This heartfelt scene happened when Chloe was unable to grasp who Lucifer truly was and openly admits to being completely terrified. You are the embodiment of evil. This was harsh, but true, and oh so painful to watch. It's clear that Chloe couldn't fathom that the devil is in fact real, much less the fact that she is beginning to care for him. She finds herself in this emotional war with herself as she struggles with her feelings for him, versus the fact that he is the true embodiment of evil. So when Lucifer asks if she is able to accept him for who he is, her response left us all raging. But you... I don't know and we could all just see Lucifer's heart crumble and break at her response. And quite frankly, so were all of our hearts. And it seems that Lucifer can't ever catch a break. Fast forward, Chloe has finally accepted Lucifer for who he is and chooses to see the light in him. But Lucifer knows that he won't be able to accept her love and therefore has to commit his most selfless act yet, letting her go, in order for him to return to the one place that he despises the most, otherwise known as hell, he has to officially say goodbye to Chloe. And after the two openly admit to choosing one another, it's particularly hard to watch. Remember this scene? If you choose to be vulnerable around me, then I choose to be vulnerable around you. But in order for Lucifer to keep her safe and sound, he does what he has to and says goodbye to the love of his life. <sighs> and we couldn't tell who was crying more, us or Chloe. All right, this list wouldn't be complete without this next scene, when Lucifer meets his father. Wow. In many ways, it felt like the show was leading up to this very moment, and it was definitely worth the wait. In this tearjerker moment, Lucifer meets God in human form, and viewers were taken on one of the show's more intense emotional roller coasters. And even though Lucifer let out quite a bit of anger at his father, God's response had us teary-eyed. 
as he admits to being proud of Lucifer and the man that he has become. For what it's worth, I am sorry. I truly am. And I am proud of you, Samuel. But it is later revealed that Johnson was never really Lucifer's father, and that he was merely possessed by a celestial object, which only further hurt Lucifer and us, if we're being truthful. This only leads us to wonder what other emotional moments the second part of season five is going to bring us at the hands of God. Which scene was the most emotional for you? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to stay awesome!